Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near water. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I welcome you all to the 14th day of a journey from wilderness to Calvary. There is a beautiful miracle attributed to St. Anthony of Padua about a rich man's death who has witnessed. When St. Anthony of Padua seen the death of this man and the family members wanted to give them the grand funeral, Anthony of Padua went and told his family members, this man doesn't deserve such a grand funeral because he did no good on this earth and his heart was not with God. The family members got so angry on St. Anthony of Padua, ran close to him to hit him. St. Anthony of Padua said, if you don't believe, cut open his chest and check whether he has a heart or not. And to their surprise, when they opened the chest of this rich man, they did not find his heart. Many brothers and sisters, later, his wife went into the room and we, when she opened the treasure box, she found the heart of her husband in the treasure box. How true are the words of Jesus where your treasure is, there your heart also will be. In today's Gospel, taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 16, verses 9 to 31, Jesus explains one of such rich man's attitude through the story of the rich man and the Lazarus. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus narrates this story so beautifully, giving each and every detail about the rich man, at the same time about the poor man, Lazarus. Let's see what are the details that we get from the, uh, the story. Jesus says that this man had fine clothes and then he had enjoyed a sumptuous meal every day of his life and he lived a luxury life. And this is the lifestyle of a rich man. And there was also a poor man who was at the gate of this rich man who had no clothes properly. And then he was waiting for the food to be coming from the, from the, from the, food, the, the food that fell from the master's table. And he used to enjoy that food. And then the, Jesus goes on to say other, uh, a little further, telling the dogs licked the wounds of this man. My dear brothers and sisters, this Lazarus and the rich man, normally we give much preference to the rich man and we name him, but Jesus doesn't name a rich man. Why? Because Jesus was very careful while narrating the story because this rich man's name was not recorded in the mind of God. Because God's focus was not on the rich, rich, rich man, but his focus on, was on to Lazarus, a poor man. The, the word Lazarus means God has helped. Why God has helped Lazarus? Because his focus was always on to God. But the brothers and sisters, again in the first reading that we have taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 5 and following, we read this beautiful verse which says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. What a beautiful thing, my dear brothers and sisters. This Lazarus had his focus on to God, and his trust was into, unto God, completely looking up to God. And God has helped Lazarus. Whereas this rich man had complete focus onto himself, complete focus onto his strengths, into his talents. And that's why again the first reading tells, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes his flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a shrub in the desert and shall not see any good come. What a pity of this rich man. He had all his concentration onto himself. 
my dear brothers and sisters as we are in the 14th day of our lenten observances practices just to focus just look into ourself how is our focus where is our focus is it on to my strengths is it on to my pleasures is it on to my complete self trusting blindly about my own talents or am i relying on god like lazarus trusting in every moment trusting every second of his life mind you both of them died both of them died one who was enjoying here and the one who was who has suffered here but jesus says all those who believe in me even though they die they will live and lazarus was such who had believed in god and therefore when he died he was still alive in the bosom of abraham whereas the rich man lived in the sight of the people enjoyed every name and fame but he died in hades where are we to go to where is our destiny where is our focus if you like this piece of reflection kindly share like and comment and don't forget to contribute to our brother vijay who is promoting this channel and developing this channel for the spreading of the word of god god bless you and have a wonderful day